Breaking news in El Dorado County, the Caldor fire jumps Highway 50, where this fire is heading and the efforts to protect homes. A switch in the wind today not only cleared the smoke, but also brought more activity to the Caldor fire. We'll tell you what's in store for the next couple of days. And Live Copter 3 is over that fire tonight. The challenges firefighters face right now. This is KCLA 3. We begin with breaking news. A major development tonight with the Caldor fire burning in El Dorado County. The fire has jumped Highway 50 just east of Kybers. A shift in the wind has fire crews digging in tonight as they battle this fire. The weather having an impact on the fire's behavior, its intensity, and also the effort to contain it. One of the best ways to demonstrate this is with Livecopter 3. Over the past couple of days, we couldn't get to this fire. It was too smoky, the visibility extremely poor, but that is changing. The wind has blown out a lot of the smoke, and while that wind is fanning the flames to the north and east, it's also allowing Cal Fire to bring in the aircraft it needs to attack the fire from above. We just watched one of these aircraft fly in and drop retardant over the south end of this fire. As of right now, the Caldor fire has burned more than 82,000 acres, and at this time, there is no containment. We have live team coverage on this fire. Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan is tracking the weather, but we begin with KCRE3's Erin Heff. She joins us live from Silver Fork Road, which is near Kybers, with the very latest on this fire. Erin. You're exactly right. We are just west of Kybers down the road, just two miles away. You can see that jump over Highway 50. It is a spot fire, but it is a massive spot fire. I talked to Cal Fire and they said it starts small, it grows big, and they have fears of that happening across Highway 50, a natural fire break. I want to show you what we're looking at down uh, to the west of